Welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke. We are live on location at the Artists for Peace and Justice Ball for Toronto International Film Festival, hosted by NKPR. Tonight, we are going to meet Susan Sarandon and Ben Stiller, who will be here, as well as the Property Brothers will be honored here tonight. So please stay with us. I'm standing here with Peter Tunney, who is a New York famous artist and very much involved with the Artists for Peace and Justice here in Toronto at this party. And how long have you been involved? From the beginning, about 10 years. 10 years. Well, you've done some very interesting artwork here this evening. In well, lieu of a red carpet, we have a painted... Blue carpet. We have a blue carpet. Colors. You're about to see what's happening is big reveal. Ethan, get on the other side of it and pull it instead of pushing it. You see? So everybody who was walking a red carpet, all the stars here tonight, were actually uh, taking off their shoes and... And socks. And, and stepping and their I used, footprints. I was using their feet like a paintbrush because I'm really making a painting here. Many of them didn't know it. They just thought this is funny. They're walking around in paint. Ha ha. But I'm making an important painting here. And in about 20 minutes when I peel up my letters... It's going to reveal the word gratitude. I'm going to say thank you very much for supporting. Oh, how wonderful. Gratitude. Well, that's, it's important to have gratitude in life, to be thankful. And what are you most thankful for? Um, my wife and my kids. Oh, that's nice. My wife's a great mom to my kids. That's super important to me. It's number one on my gratitude list. Now, you were saying that the money that's raised is going to help women in, and children in Haiti. And you were explaining to me a little bit about what happens with the teenage girls. So, well, it's teenage girls. We have, a, we have a free public high school in Haiti. We have about 2,600 kids that go to school there. A few years ago, we had our first students graduate with high school diplomas um, from most families where no one ever graduated from anything. Um, a large percentage of the students at our school live in the poorest slum on earth called City Soleil, boys and girls. Um, what can you say when you say the poorest slum on earth? That's what it looks like. It's really rough, and they would have never have a chance to go to high school or have lunch or clean uniforms, and all those kids just cherish their education. They love going to that school, and everybody shows up in their clean uniforms, and they get lunch, and we... You know, if you go to a graduation there and you watch these kids graduate, you think they're getting a Nobel Prize. It's really an amazing thing for the families and for everyone. So to think about a young girl who's really living in just abject poverty in a dirt floor house with very little hope and crime and violence abounding, of course, and all those things, and now she's graduating from high school, that's, that's about as good as you can do. That's empowerment. And that's, that's the graduating class for me is was the goal for eight years that kids would graduate from high school and now go on and do other things. That's great. So how did you um, actually get interested in doing art? <clears throat> oh, that's, a, that's another interview, you yeah. know. Uh, I, declared, I just declared myself an artist in 1987. I had no talent. I just wanted to be an artist. I quit my job on Wall Street and I became an artist. And I've been an artist for 31 years now. Wow, how wonderful yeah. to be able to follow your passion like that. I did it. I didn't even know what it was. And it's changed a lot. But here I am. Painting with movie star feet in Toronto. Yes, quite a feat. Yeah. And no so, <laughs> not actually. Yeah. Um, so, one last question since we are a women's show. How do you feel art impacts women? Um, I think art impacts men and women. It's what's great about art is it levels the playing field. And it should be universal. If I do a big painting here and it says gratitude, that's not for him or her. That's for all of us. And I'm almost offended sometimes when, uh, you know, you hear this term like women's rights. Because it should just say human rights. Why are we singling them out? They should have everyone. We all have the same rights. And um, so it's important. And, and art is a really important tool now. Not so much that, oh, this art is beautiful, or we gave a painting to a hospital or something, but art helps young people think about things in a different way and to dream up solutions to the predicaments that we're in. We're in terrible predicaments all over the place, and you need new and free thinking, and I think art encourages that. Often it's a good release. It's a good release. It's therapy, too. It's fun walking around in paint. But art is a vital part of our society. It's a vital part of our society. It's not something 
extra you get if you're rich. It should be something that's ingrained in us. And for me, I could give you a 10-hour speech on this. It might be the most interesting and important part of human existence. Well, I really thank you for taking this time to speak with us. You're a very interesting person. You can speak again with and you, you like, you're really, now. really interesting. And I really appreciate it. Okay. Thanks thank for being you. with us today on Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, signing off. Please remember to like, a comment, and share all our posts with your family, your friends, your coworkers, all your ladies, all your gal pals. You will find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Google Plus, Vimeo, YouTube. You name it, we're there. Hashtag Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. And until next time, continue to be fabulous. Oh, I love it.